Hey, it's Abel Buff and welcome back to the channel and in this video we're gonna take a look at the best UI concept making app. So without a further ado, let's roll the video. So we all know that in order to make great, I mean worth appreciating UI concepts, we do require sort of coding. But what if I told you that there's an app that not only helps you to make worth appreciating UI concepts, but also does not require any sort of coding. Well, that's true. The name of the app is Details Pro. That basically is a UI making app, which is available for free on the App Store to download. And but of course, the link to the app will be in the description down below. So don't forget to check that out. To begin with your first concept, the app not only does provide templates which can be used, but also the app allows you to remix the community created concepts by just downloading it. And just in case if you want to start from scratch, you can even start from blank template. So for this video, let me start from the scratch. So once you're on this page, now it's absolutely on you what you want to make and whatever you add will show up in the preview area. And since this, it's a blank template on the left, you get to see is a button that says no size and tapping that will open a list of supported size layout and you can choose whichever you want. Now, once you have selected the size, now all you have to do is just run your creative mind and start adding elements to it. You can start by clicking on the plus sign visible over there. And once you tap that, you get to see is the design element options that can be added. So as you can see that I want to make a large widget that displays a photo memory of a day and date. So first of all, I'll add a layered stack. The main purpose of the layered stack is to let elements overlap each other. And next up, I'll add a rectangle as my 2D figure for the large widget. Now, when this is done, we will add a background image to the rectangle. For that, you need to tap on the element that says rectangle and from there, click on add modifier. Now you need to scroll down until you see the option that says background image. Tapping on that will add it as a modifier. And once added, you can just add the background image to the widget. One of those really good things about this app is that to add the image, the app allows the user to choose the source of the photo. That is photos app, files app in even can use Unsplash too. And just after you are done adding it, now it's time to add a text to the widget. And just like before, we have to click on the plus sign and select text as the element to add it to the widget. Later on, you can just double tap it to edit the text. The most crucial part of this is to determine the correct position of the text. By now, you would have noticed that the text is center aligned by default but we need to shift it to the left and even shift it down so that it looks identical to the widgets made by Apple. So to do that, just long press the text element and tap a vertical stack. Doing that won't show any difference in the position of the text and that's when the need for spacer arises. Adding a spacer above the text moves the text down. And now to move it to the left as we wanted, we need to start a new horizontal stack. And also don't forget to add a spacer below the text to change the position of the text to the left. Adding the spacer moved the text to the extreme left that wasn't we asked for. However, we can even change that by making use of padding. Just repeat the steps that are shown on the screen and when told to add a padding number, just enter the number 16 and as a result, you'll get the position of the text as desired. So what I really love about the app is the fact that it's so flexible. You can literally keep exploring and experimenting with addition of elements without worrying about the code. There are lots of options to play with within this app. And as far as the coding is concerned, to view the coding of the current project, just tap the three dots icon present on the top right. And as a result, the complete coding will be visible and this can be even copied and exported. To conclude this up, I would like to say that no doubt, in order to access more of creative stuff, being able to create unlimited UI concepts and more, the user needs to get the pro subscription of the app. But being a UI concept creator myself, I do feel it's just the perfect app we were searching for. I mean, it's even a great app for someone who is even starting with UI. So with that being said, this is Apple Buff signing off. Catch you in the next one. Till then, peace.